For question 1 in mixed exercise 6, they have given us an equation of tan x equals to 2 cot x in the interval of minus 180 to 90 degrees, which is going to be crucial. When we have this expression, we need to find an identity which links both of them. Luckily, it's an easy link as cot x equals to 1 over tan x. Therefore, 2 cot x will be 2 times by, times by 1 over tan x, which will give us 2 over tan x. Bring tan x to one side, so you're going to times through tan squared x equals to 2. And to give us our normal expression, which has tan x on its own, we're going to have to square root both sides. When you square root a number, you're always going to be left with plus or minus, unless specified otherwise. And this is going to be crucial because tan x could now either equal to positive root 2 or it could equal to negative root 2. We'll work with the positive root 2 for now. With this positive root 2, with this positive root 2, we can use our cast diagram to figure out which regions we want to find. As it's positive and it's tan, it's going to be either the all region or the tan region. Those are the angles we need to try to find. First, we need to use the inverse function on our calculator to find x. So you do tan minus 1 of root 2, and our calculator should give 54.7. And that corresponds to this, 54.7. So now we have our all region. The only other region where tan is positive is this one. And to find this, we would do 180 degrees plus 54.7, as this is 54.7 as well. And that gives us 234.7. However, what we need to bear in mind is our interval of minus 180 to 90 degrees. 234.7 does not lie in this interval. Therefore, we can remove this. What you may have noticed is our interval goes back to minus 180. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the cast diagram, which I would call the negative cast diagram. This was the positive cast diagram, where we started from here, Zero degrees started from here, and we went all the way around this way to 360. However, in the negative cast diagram, we start from zero here again, but we go the opposite direction negatively. So it's going to be minus 90 over here, minus 180 over here, minus 270 over here, then minus 360 all the way around. But the same rules apply of where it's positive and where it's negative. Tan x is positive root 2. Therefore, the only regions it can lie are over here and over here. Our, our angle that we have is going to be 54.7 or minus 54.7 in this regard. And we don't, we want this angle. So same thing as, as if it was positive, we'd work it out the same way. You would do minus 180 plus 54.7. Just basically as this, it's 54.7. Minus 54.7. You just want to find out this big angle over here. So it's just... Maths, simple maths, and that should give you 125.3 minus 125.3, and that lies in the region 
of minus 180 to 90. Another way you could do this is um, instead of, because it could get tricky with the signs and everything, just do it normally as if it was positive, but bear in mind that it's gonna, you're going to have to write a negative number at the end. So you have minus 125.3. So when tan x equals to positive root 2, you would have minus 25.3 degrees and 54.7. Now if it was negative root 2, your calculator is going to give you minus 54.7 degrees when you use the inverse function. However, this shouldn't matter to you and you would use 54.7 as you would do normally so this is 54.7 there's no need to write minus what you do differently though when it's as you have a negative root 2 is you're working with different regions now you have to try find a different region tan x is only negative in this region and this region. In this region, we would find the angle by doing 180 minus 54.7. And that would give us 125.3. And this angle would be 360, 360 minus 54.7, and that's 305.3. However, neither of these lie in this region, so neither of these can count. We have to work with the negative side again. So with the negative cast diagram, we're going the opposite direction negatively now. And this angle is 54.7, minus 54.7. Again, as the cast diagram, doesn't matter if, it, if we're using neg the negative or positive cast diagram, we're finding these regions again, as this is where tan x is negative. We have our minus 54.7 as, as given. So minus 54.7 is one of our values and it lies in the region. And our other one will be 180 and then going 54.7 degrees more, which would give us 234.7 minus 234.7. However, this lies outside the region of minus 180. Therefore, we can remove this. And the only angles we're left with is this and this. So th that's our answer. Minus 25, minus 125.3, minus 54.7 and 54.7 degrees. Another way you may prefer to work this out is if you draw out a normal diagram, that drawing is not the best. Draw out your tan diagram. So it goes from minus 90 to 90. And then 90 to 270. Crosses at 180. And then it goes again from 270 to 360. Stops there. And over here. Again, I'm just going to cross at 270, I mean cross at minus 180, 
and then the asymptotes at minus 270. Minus 270, minus 180. All right, so what you do is you'd look tan x equals to positive root 2. So we'll pretend root 2 is here. And tan x equals to minus root 2. So minus root 2 is here. Then you go across. And find everywhere it hits the line. You see it hits the line here, here, and here. And for the negative, it hits it here, there, there, and there. In our interval, we only want 90 to, to minus 180. Therefore, the only angles we'd be interested in is this one. This one and this one because they're in the region. And to find what angles they are, first you use your inverse function, and you can see this is 54.7, this one here, 54.7. What you can see with this is as the graph is symmetrical, the difference between 54.7 and this 90 is going to be the same difference between this point and the minus 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 90 over here. The difference is difference is 35 35.3. So in essence, as the graph is symmetrical, minus 90 over there, 90 over here, this is going to be minus 54.7 as the graph is symmetrical. Now it's just this point which is needed and all you would do is the difference between 90 and 54.7, which is 35.3. It's going to be the same difference over here to there. So you go 35.3 degrees more over there. So that's minus 90, minus 90, minus 35.3, which is minus 125.3. So that's the other way you can work these angles out, is using the actual diagrams. So that's our answer, these angles. You could either use the cost diagram or you could draw out the graph.